Hey, if you're thinking about buying a laser engraver, maybe for your home personal use, maybe in a school setting or even starting a small business, this X-Tool P2 might be the one for you. It's making laser engraving almost too easy. So if you've watched any of my other videos before, you might know that I'm a technology and education teacher. And because of that, I get to use cool machines like this in the classes that I teach every single day. And this is our laser that we have down in our fab lab that, that our students use like legitimately every single day. And because of that, I, I feel like I have an understanding of what a decent laser engraver should be able to do. And I've always wanted to have a laser engraver at home uh, to bring to the channel and, and kind of do some projects and, and add to the projects that I do. Uh, but I was never able to justify the cost. If I found something that I wanted, it was way too much. And if I found something in the price range I wanted, it didn't have any of the features that I wanted and didn't seem worth the while in buying. But when Xtool reached out to me, actually multiple times, I, I turned them down the first one or two times, and then I finally accepted their, their offer here the third time. Um, they, so they wanted to send me a laser engraver so that I could review that for you guys. And that's not the kind of channel that I wanted to normally run. I wanted to focus on DIY projects and doing things and building things and making things. But also at the same time, I really wanted a laser engraver. I'm not going to lie to you. But I do think this is going to be an awesome tool that I am going to be able to use on the channel and kind of further exemplify some of those, those projects that I built here. Plus, the, the bigger thing was... Um, that in reading through the stuff that they had on their website and seeing the things that other YouTubers were posting, this seemed like the real deal and it seemed pretty legit. And it felt like at the time a pretty comfortable product or something that I felt comfortable bringing to you guys because it seemed like a legitimate laser engraver. The other stipulation of our deal was I could tell you my honest feedback on this. I didn't have to hold back. I wasn't obligated to say anything positive about this. So as of right now, I've been using this for about a week and a half. And the whole thing that I've been trying to determine is, is this thing as good as they say it is? And the, the consensus that I've started to come up with is it's just as good as they claim it to be. Not perfect, but the big thing that it does is it just makes laser engraving too simple. So diving into this, the first part where this gets easy is the setup. Um, I'm not going to go over all of the unboxing and setup and different things like that. You basically pull it out of the box. It's very well packaged. You, with another person, hopefully set it up on a table or something like that, wherever you're going to place this thing. Uh, you read through the chart. You add water to the CO2 laser tube and, a, and antifreeze if you need to. And you might go through a calibration process. Very simple, all documented in the steps, in their instruction manual. And there's plenty of YouTube videos if you need help with that as well. But then actually getting into the machine and starting to use it, the software that Xtool has with this is what really makes it simple. The, the user interface and layout of the software is also very intuitive. And, and if you've used any type of, of, of graphic design software or anything before, or even if you haven't, it's pretty easy to learn. Um, looking at the page, you have the layout of kind of where you're going to put your workpiece. You have uh, simple commands on how to get your pictures and vectors and different files into the software. And then really the thing uh, that makes the software so great is Xtool has all kinds of presets already pre-downloaded in here for most every common material that you would ever want to use on this thing. Then the next thing that, that makes this really nice is the camera systems that they have built into the laser engraver. So there's two separate cameras in here. There's one general camera that's mounted right in the top that you can take a look at an overview of what's actually in the laser engraver. And then they have a smaller camera that's mounted actually to the head of the laser engraver itself so that you can get a, most, a more precise view. So ultimately for me to put this to the test, I did three projects that kind of mimic ones that I would do at school with my students in class. Um, I wanted to test the laser engraver's ability to cut simple materials like basswood, balsa wood, uh, thin plywoods. So we ended up making these three layered signs here. Then I wanted to test its ability to not only engrave, but cut different materials like acrylic. So we made these LED uh, edgelet signs. And then the last thing that we wanted to do was just engrave on top of a surface. And really the big thing that I wanted to test was in the thing that they're advertising that was kind of cool was the ability for the laser engraver to uh, laser engrave on a curved surface. That's something that I can't do with the, the laser engraver at school unless we get out the rotary tool and the curve has to be in the other direction. Uh, but that's something that I definitely wanted to test out on this as well. And then to make all these projects, I didn't use anything, any crazy materials or anything like that that are hard to find. All the materials for these came from Amazon um, or Xtool's website itself. And that's kind of a nice thing all in that fact. It may not be necessarily the cheapest way to do this, but Xtool has all of the products that they have pre-programmed into the computer settings for. They sell those products in nice convenient, con convenient sizes. The layered signs were made out of sheets of basswood. Uh, I think it was three millimeters thick is what it was there. Yet again, presets worked amazing for these. Uh, it cut right through it without excessive burning. 
they, the, uh, the lines were nice and straight. It was easy to line up. Um, to make those, I just loaded in my vector files for the outside image. Um, if you don't have vector files, that's not the, the end of the world. Yet again, because the software helps you with that. So you can bring in your logo. There's a nice feature on there that, that is a trace feature uh, that, that goes by the contrast of the image and it'll help you kind of trace the outside feature so that it'll make a vector image for you so that you can then use that to cut, which works really nice. And then as you can see here, uh, the pieces are nicely and cleanly pulled out. Put these signs together. I just took them out in my garage, gave them a quick coat of spray paint. Um, I always make sure that I keep the one piece that all the parts come out of so it makes it easier to line up the letters and stuff like this if you have small pieces. Um, I used some spray adhesive, spray adhesive on the back side of these, put them in there, lined them up, stuck them on, and uh, overall these look pretty good. So then the next project I did was the LED signs, and I just took the little base pieces of acrylic, threw those in, uh, used the software to kind of line it up, and then took kind of a nicer snapshot of it so that I could line up my vector file and, and image file in there as well. It was really nice and easy to deal with two different layers at one time, so you can isolate those two different layers. One of them I had set to the engraving and the, uh, the vector file I had set to cut. Uh, the one downside with this was it was hard to line up the image with the actual thing in the laser engraver because those lenses are kind of fisheye lenses and they're so wide you get kind of a, a little bit of a distorted view of the of the workpiece that's in there um, even with that close-up camera that's that's attached to the head of the laser it was still just barely off and it was hard to to get in there so if there's any one downside to this laser engraver um, it would be those camera systems. I think it's the greatest thing that the laser has because it makes things so easy. But if you're a person that needs things to line up exactly perfect, it needs to be exactly a certain measurement away from an edge, or you have a vector file that needs to go off the edge, kind of like that I did to make sure that it's completely cut out, that does make it a little bit more difficult. Um, the solution to that is using Lightburn, a program like Lightburn, for this laser engraver, which I haven't got to test out yet, but I heard works with it, and that would solve all of those issues. But overall, uh, the laser engraver did a great job of lasering out these signs. I was going to open the lid and kind of open it up and, and give you a better look at, at this lasering process, um, but I didn't want my whole house smelling like acrylic. But I will say that the final result looked really good. Uh, I do like the pattern that it uses, and there's multiple different patterns and the, the line layers and stuff like that. Yet again, the presets cut through the acrylic perfectly, no extra burning, the engraving came out perfect, and uh, it was a nice snap-in easy fit to these LED sign bases, and they look pretty good, I think. Uh, then moving on to the last project that I wanted to do, which was lasering on a curve. Uh, this was surprisingly easy. I thought this was going to be something difficult to set up, but yet again in the software, uh, they have everything ready for you. And all you have to do is put your material in there. In this case, it was my cutting board and you just select laser on a curve. It walks you through a set of steps. Uh, you, you set a vertice on, on the upper left-hand corner, and then you set one in the lower right-hand corner, and it, it tells you how many points it's gonna measure, and you just press OK, and the laser engraver goes through and selects a bunch of different points, and using a little laser measuring tool on the head of the laser, it measures the distance, and it creates like kind of a 3D mesh of what that curve is, and then it adjusts your image to that, and then the other thing that it does is it raises and lowers the laser head so that it's always the same distance away from the cutting board or material that you're lasering so that you get a consistent burn. And that focal point is always centered right over top of the cutting board so you get the best results. And it does all the thinking for you, which is really kind of cool. It's kind of hard to see in the example that I, I'm giving here, but as the laser is going along that curve, it's lowering as it's coming down to the center, it gets to its lowest point, and it starts raising, it's coming back up so that it gets that consistent burn all the way through. The only reason that the image on here looks even a little bit distorted is just because of the different bamboo layers. Uh, every piece of wood is gonna laser a little bit differently, so the 
top of the saw blade on the on the one example here is a little bit lighter just because the bamboo was probably a little bit harder and it didn't get a, a complete engrave in there but that's not something that, that you can control so overall i've only been able to use this machine for about the last week and a half now and this is the extent of what i've been able to do be honest with you i'm really impressed so far this laser engraver has done exactly what it's advertised to do it cuts it engraves it has some advanced features with cameras software that's easy to use it's able to laser engrave on curves um, for the price point and what i'm seeing after a week and a half this thing looks good and i would i feel comfortable recommending this to you and actually it's a weight off my shoulders to be honest with you um, never receiving a product like this to review on my channel this is a weight off my shoulders that i can honestly give you an honest review um, and I feel really comfortable about recommending this. I'm not saying it's 100% perfect. Um, I would, if I were you, do your due diligence. Go at look, at look at some of the other reviews that are out there, long-term reviews, how people are liking this after a longer period of time. I've only had the opportunity to do these three projects, but with the presets in the computer, with everything that it was supposed to do, it did exactly what it was supposed to do, and it's just as good as that laser engraver that I have have at school. And like I said, I'd rather probably have this laser engraver at school uh, just because of how easy it is to teach somebody to do. You can get started, get going, and do what you need to do. Not to mention the size, the form factor of this, and everything being all contained in one package. Um, there is an air compressor and exhaust fan already built into this. It's not something that you have to set up. It's not something extra that you have to do. Everything's all contained in one package. It's almost as easy as using just a normal printer. That's kind of where the laser, and tech, laser engraving technology is getting to with something like this. As of right now, everything's pretty much positive. The only downside that I would say is the camera system that's in here. And maybe it's a little bit noisy, but I'll be honest with you that you're not really going to get away from that in any way, shape or form. Um, every laser engraver is going to be a little bit noisy. You have to have an air compressor in there that's blowing air at the at where the laser is coming out so you don't start a fire. You have to have an exhaust fan to try to pull the fumes out of this thing. So that's not something that you're going to get around. I mean, I wouldn't plan on putting this right next to your bed and laser engraving it at night next to you. I mean, you're going to want to have it in a place where you can make just a little bit of noise. So down here in a basement in my YouTube studio maker space, whatever this thing is, it's the perfect place for it and I think it fits in um, and that kind of leads me into kind of the, the future videos. I am going to continue to be using this on projects that I'm going to be doing around the channel. Uh, I'm going to be continuing to test it out, maybe give a long term review of, of what this thing is doing and how I still like it, hopefully, and then also um, making kind of a permanent setup for it. Right now I have it on this Husky tool workbench mobile desk thing which is which is really awesome um, if you're looking for a place to put this kind of short term or even long term actually this thing's really nice it adjusts up and down so you can get it to the perfect height for your working area um, the laser engraver fits on it perfectly so it's just about the same width front to back as this thing and you have a little bit of room that you can put your laptop over here and work and it's a really nice all enclosed space you can move it around your room to wherever you need it so if, if in the future i update to one of those conveyors that allows us to do bigger things uh, that's going to be a really nice thing but i'm going to have a more permanent location for this um, i'm going to put in an inline fan that actually pulls fumes out and ducks it outside of my house rather than having it temporarily ducked outside of a basement window at the moment. Um, so there's a lot more for this tool moving forward. If you're interested in the ways that I'm going to use this in the future, seeing my permanent setup, maybe even seeing kind of the YouTube studio makerspace that I'm going to have going on down here, uh, being a tech teacher, that's something I got to have for whatever reason. Um, but if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I would encourage you to, to subscribe and stick around and see what other videos I come up with. If you enjoyed anything, enjoyed this video, or if you learned anything throughout the entire process, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. That helps me. Um, but more than anything, I, uh, I do recommend this product as of right now. Um, it is a little bit of money, but I think that it does exactly what it's advertised for. And if this is in your budget, this is something that I think would be a good, uh, a good investment. So links for this will be down in the description. If you're looking to buy one that and you use my link, that always helps me. Uh, but if not, whatever, um, this is, I think a decent machine. So, uh, with that being said, I think that's it for this one, and I hope to see you guys in another video.